Hi guys, Joe Makarumpu here and welcome to the episode of Flesh and Blood Death Tag. Alright. So for to for this week we like to take about look about my one of my deck that I actually quite enjoy playing it, Leviah. So if you watched my last week gameplay, you can see the uh, Leviah versus Pauline. It's exactly the deck I use against my friend Poa. And it it's not a it's not a normal Leviah, it's actually a hexagon Leviah, yes. A very rare appearance, you know, right? It's, 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 uh, before building this, actually, go to YouTube and find it's very, very hard to find anyone that's, that's building this hexa called Leviya, except for this man that uh, actually subscribe called Mansen. I sorry, I forgot, about, I forgot about your name. So, yeah, this is my own homebrew hexa called Leviya, and it's also budget because most of the deck here is uh, common and rare. The only specific card in this deck is Hexagon because it's a uh, majestic, but Focus. But even though it's a majestic, this card is super super cheap because it's so initially it's quite bad actually. But if you build around it, you you can see how good it is actually. Because uh, the first time I'm playing this deck, I, I before building it properly, I was like, how the hell does this deck even work, man? It's impossible to play. But after building around it, yep, it works and it's fun to play. So okay, the hero is a Vaya. So it's a Shadow Brute young hero. So the effect is if if a card with six or more power, best power. Um, you know, if 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 a card with six or more power has put into your banish zone, for this for this turn, cuts you on lost blood there because uh during the turn because uh, in shadow, you play blood dead which every which, which effect is uh, at the end of the turn if you have a blood dead card your banish zone you do one damage to yourself so it's very dangerous, but thanks to Leviathan it can almost turn off the blood dead almost every turn so let's see the, the weapon next go. The Death Hydra is a Shadow Brood weapon, it's two handed. Okay, once per turn, two resources to attack. Whenever you attack with Hexagon, it deals damage to you equal to 6 minus the number of cards with Blood Dead in your Blood Zone. So, this game is more like a light game, you cannot use it straight away because you need to build out your Blood Dead in your Blood Zone to be able to swing this card. So, the idea of this is just, it's just early game, you attack with your attack action card and then build out the Blood Dead in your Blood Zone, and then late game, you swing with Hexagon Leviathan. Sorry, hexago. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, now let's go to the equipment. First equipment is the head, our bond fort. Alright. Instant is a shield equipment, it's a head. Instant by paying one resource to destroy our bond fort, banish a card from your hand. If it's a shadow card, draw a card. Spell void 2. So basically, I put these cards in case there's one time that you, you, can, you, you just cannot banish a uh, six or more card in uh, six or more power cards in your banish zone, so you're Blood Dead will be there, so I use this card as an emergency. Emergency, so I can banish my own card to turn off the Blood Dead. And also, draw power, right? It's, not, it's bad. That means it's not bad. Alright, next is the arm. Goliath Gauntlet. Of course, this card must be here because action. Destroy Goliath Gauntlet. The next attack card you you cost 2 or greater, your plan is again plus 2 power. So you will, you will hurt the opponent more badly. So. Because uh, these days it's more about go go tall, so it's a lot of high power, so you use this one to you can deal a lot of damage. Next is the leg. Of course, I uh, I don't play the gap the the one that they roll. That's why I play this one because first of all it's cheap and of course it's much more guaranteed to have a get uh, action point. Because in this day you need to have action point. Actually, when I'm building this, I actually ask, ask, ask my friend for opinion. He said, give cut and go again. But the thing is. In blue, there, there's not many cards. There's not many card or there's no card that can give go again. So you must you must think wisely. So if you have go again, give action point. All right. So effect whenever a card with six or more power is put into your zone, you may you may destroy hoof of the shadow beast. If you do, give action point and better one, so you can go for the defense. Lastly, for the equipment is the chest. So Hutton cross chest. I think I pronounced it correctly. So action destroy Hutton cost trap. The next attack action card you play this time cost two resource left to play. So yeah, it can pretty much um uh have a how to say how to say, how to say the word again? I have a cheaper way to play your card. Okay. So this is equipment. Now let's go for go to the attack action card. Oh wait, sorry, attack action card is here. So first, because you're playing the via, you must play. So harvest not because you want to do uh deal of six uh high damage is probably because it's a blue it's a blue resource uh blue pitch with six or more power because you in this day you need to play a lot of blue pitch card because 
this day is just very costly. So uh, I really play this card, but if you can put it off, it's, it's amazing. All right, so it's yeah, uh, okay. So it's a uh, cost of six. So it's a legendary Leviathan suggestion. So you can only play this card in Novaya. And it's a good cost to play so harvest, but it's six cards from your graveyard. Again, plus one power for each card with blood that banish this way. So yeah, it's hard to pull off, but if you can pull it off, you can do like tough damage. It's, it's really amazing. And if so harvest six hits a hero. Banish all cards from their soul. Their lost life equal to number of cards banished this way. So it's like a counter against like uh, prism or bot lane. No, those like hero have shared they have their soul in the in the if it, 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 yeah cut in their soul. So I don't have happen to that. I like, speak a bit weird. All right. So the only play one piece because it's a it's a dirty card. Next is a uh, savage swing. So I play two red and two yellow. Alright, so it's our only one cost, it's very good, and it has a high power, six, uh, 7 power and 6 power. Because in this deck, you need, you need to play a lot, 6 or more power, so this, this is why I play this card. Alright, so you have 7 power for the red, and two and 6 power for the yellow, and defense for 3. And, offense is very straightforward, as an energy cost to play Savage Swing, this, this card a random card. Because in this deck, you need to build out your, your, your graveyard to able to banish card, because in this deck, you must banish card from your graveyard. So, yeah. Play two of uh, two red, two yellow, and of uh, course I play what uh two blue. Wrecker wrong because it's, it's a two cost and yeah, it's same effect with seven swing. As an initial cost to play a wrecker uh romp this card, card. I you I usually don't play this card. I only pitch this card because it's a blue cost and then it's a it's a ray it's, it's a ray thing that uh in is blue. It's a blue cost with six power. So this is why I play blue of it. All right, next is I play the, the card. Now this is here. With, this card with the blood dead one. So yeah, so first card is the gra uh, graveling growl. So only for one cost. I you can I take for six. But you can only play this card. You have put a card with six or more power into your banish zone this turn. If not, you, you cannot play this card. And blood dead defense for three. I play two yeah two yellow only. Uh, because I need the resource. I can play red, but I want the I, I want the more resource. So I play yellow. And I can't play blue because you don't have power with six or more, so I only play yellow. Next is one of my favorite card, Dread Screamer. Uh, okay, focus. So it's two two costs and uh, as a, uh with a blood debt. As an energy cost to play that Screamer, banish three random cards in your graveyard. This is why this is where all the banish card come from because you, you you use this card to help you banish card from your graveyard. All right, so if a card with six or more power is banished this way. Just Dream against Go against amazing effect, amazing. So I play full set of yellow, full, full set of red, and full set of blue. Oh, by the way, this is a blitz deck, so it's a, yeah, I didn't say earlier, but, but you guys can only tell this is a blitz deck. Alright, so Just Screamer, amazing card. So, uh, five for yellow power and red, six power for red, and four power for, for blue. Next is also one of my favorite cards, and it is Dread, uh, Deadwood from below. It's expensive because you have three. You have you pay for three. But the effect is draw a card, then discard a random card. If a card with six or more power is discarded this way, banish your card from your graveyard. So again, how you banish your card and how you draw a card, and also blood debt. And because ah uh, this this is the only card with uh, with no 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 no, no, no the card, the card with all the all the full full color, they have uh, six or more power. So blue have six power. Also, uh, there's no defense. So be careful. Be, you cannot block with this card. Yes, I lose the game because of this. So I play two blue, two red, two yellow. Lastly is Bonyan Maudara. Oh sorry, Bonyan Marauder. So it's only one cost. It's amazing, and I've got blood dead too. And also, as an card to cost, uh, sorry, as an cost to play this card, you must spend this three red card from your graveyard. So I only play two red, one blue, and one yellow because I can't find any more. Really. <laughs> so there's the attraction cards. Now let's move to the non attention card. So we play Primeval Bellows. Why I play this card? This, this is the only card that's cheap. It's a common card and can give your weapon plus five. Because uh uh like this card unworldly bellows it can only give attention card, but for this card you can give to a weapon too. So it's like uh, eleven damage swing, so it's amazing to play with. But it's hard to put up because first of all it's a zero cost, so yeah. And also as an cost to play Primeval Bellows, this card a random card. Sometimes you just don't have enough card to do this card to play this card. So I rarely play this card, but if I if I able to put it off, it's amazing to to, to see my opponent fast. <laughs> like, what eleven damage was? What hexagon? Then there's a lot. All right, so I play two red. 
Next tea is also one of my favorite cards, Unworldly Bellow. On cost only, and as an addition cost to play this card, manage three random cards from the graveyard. Again, manage card, and also, no blood death, so it's, it's okay. The next blood or shadow attack action card, you, you play this turn against plus three. Go again. Three for yellow, uh, two, two, two for blue, and four for red. So it's amazing. Also, can block for three. So this card just pump up your attack card so you can like swing hard, go tall, you know. Now, let's go to the very card that I actually encode to, just to make this card work. Just now I say you, you need to give cards that have action point, but because the only card that I think that many people play in the Vaya they can give action point is Art of War. But Art of War is very, very expensive card. Like, seriously, that's a really expensive card, so I have no money on the play this on budget. So, Laid Off Charge is, a, is the option I play. So it's a zero cost, yeah. Like, and also, the next time you play the action card with one cost or greater this turn, get one action point. Go again. It's, like, it's amazing. It's like, go again. I play two, two blue and two yellow. Why not red? Because this deck, there's only uh, one or more. So there's no zero cost mons uh, zero cost, zero cost attack. Zero cost card, sorry, man. So I don't see the need to play red. And also, I need, to, I need more resource, so I play blue and yellow. And lastly, it's also a card that they really people play, but actually work. It's an instant card, Shadow Instant, Blood Tribute for zero cost. You may opt to, then manage to manage the top card of your deck by play two yellow, one blue, and one red. Why I play this card? Because um, almost every turn you must you, you must not only swing with hexagon because yeah, you can reduce cost and we reduce the six damage to you, but you must also every turn you must banish a card from your you must banish a card. So to to do this. Mainly, you need a, 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 action, a, a action card that has uh, go again and also banish card like the uh, unworldly bellow. But sometimes you just need to banish faster. So this is why instant because instant doesn't interrupt, instant doesn't take out your action point. So you can banish a card and then you can turn off your blood deck and you can swing for hexagon for free. So that's it. That's my Leviathan deck. It's a very cheap option. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. You can give it a, give it a try because. This card is really really cheap. This deck is also very very cheap. I didn't attend, I don't think I like, even spent more than hundred ringgit on this deck. So yeah, it's amazing. And yep, stay tuned for next week video because it will be something I want to do, which is a uh, Visaray deck. So yeah, Jumakrupu signing off. Bye bye.